Hey, what's up casters, reloaders, and shooters? Thanks for joining. Today we are taking out the AR chambered in 6mm 223, otherwise known as 6x45, which is basically a necked up 223 cartridge to a 6mm. And we are going to try out some 100 grain Sierra Game Kings to see if I can stabilize this bullet. And uh, I don't know, maybe uh, we'll see if we get some groups, might we get lucky. This is going to give me a pretty good variety of bullets if I can stabilize and actually get a group at 100 grains. That way I know what cast bullet mold I'm going to get. So uh, place your bets below, pause this video, let me know what you guys think, if this is going to stabilize um, or not, or in, uh, and if it's going to give us a group. Let's find out. I'm at 100 yards with a chronograph and I'll get you guys pointed down range. Well, these uh, bullets are seated pretty deep as you can tell in the picture. They're loaded at mag length, that way I can feed them through the AR. And they're loaded with Hodgdon 322. Um, we'll see if uh, we get some good velocity out of it. And the primers I'm using are Remington 7.5 um, Benchrest primers. And they're supposedly supposed to be Magnum primers. So let's check it out. could say that these are stabilizing really really good these were the first three shots cold bore 19.5 grains Hajjan 322 and then two shots there um, FPS was just over 2,000 or just under 2100 then I went up to 19.8 grains and you can see the group kind of opened up there and then for some reason I readjusted the scope and I'm not sure if it was me but I brought it down about five or six MOA because uh, the scope was sighted in for 400 yards. I was shooting 75 grains earlier. But um, got one on paper, so got to retest that. And <clears throat> same thing here, I was kind of still sighting in the scope. Uh, this was 20.4 grains, and um, I think I was shooting pretty low. So I brought it up about 5 MOA, and I uh, shot two, two shots there. Standard deviation numbers weren't looking good. And we go on to... 20.7 grains things start to kind of dial in uh, I don't know what happened up there Center deviation numbers aren't looking good still, but the group is dialing in and then of course the last group of the day Looks to be the best shots and the best groups and that gave me a three-shot group And a standard deviation of two so that's pretty good I'm actually really excited that these could stabilize 100 grain bullets uh, That gives me more of an option to choose uh, what mold to get I could go all the way from you know 50 grains all the way up to 100 grains it seems like and it makes this cartridge very versatile especially th these being a uh, Sierra Game King at 2300 FPS uh, that I should be enough to expand 
So uh, future tests, I will be checking out to see what kind of uh, expansion it gets uh, through a ballistics gel or some water jugs. Well guys, there it is. That's the answer. I probably could shoot 115 grain bullets, but um, I gotta check that out. I might be buying the Arsenal mold. There's also one from NOE that's 105 grain. So um, that's, that's the test for today. And I appreciate you guys watching as always. Any suggestion, feedback, throw a comment below. And if you find this video pretty helpful, go ahead and throw me a thumbs up and uh, let me know that you like it. That way I know what kind of content you guys are looking for. Other than that, folks, stay tuned for more videos. And as always, be safe, happy shooting. I'll catch you guys in the next video.